if you are interested in something like, say, baby watermelon, and you're like, whoa, that's too bright. Well, guess what? You're not gonna put it on this dark on your cheeks. It's going to be a lot lighter. So this would be more what it's going to look like because you're going to blend it, okay? It's never going to be this pigmented unless you put that much on your face and you let it sit there. It's going to blend, okay? So that's it in the tin, that's it on your skin, okay? Um, so same with this beautiful color called Scarlet, okay? Super red, but if you just take it lightly and you just blend it, you blend and you blend and you blend, it's gonna look like that. So you don't need to be scared of these dark colors because on your skin and in the tin are completely different, okay? Um, what's another crazy one? Let's see, Dahlia. Okay, oh, hold on, let me get some more. Okay, really dark pink. Looks hot pink almost in the tin. You rub that in. That's what it's gonna look like on your skin, okay? So you don't need to be afraid of the dark colors. This is in the tin, this is on your skin, okay? So just thought I'd make that little correlation for you guys so you guys can open up to realm of new colors because when you're able to do that, the possibilities are completely endless when it comes to making your um, lip and cheek options. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back because my hair is annoying me. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to Illuminator real quick. So we have a couple different ones. We have our creams, okay. This is Honey Pearl Glow. Uh, this is Rose Gold, I believe. And then I have my powders, Georgia um, Photoshop Glamazing, I believe. That's just Vanilla Dust. And this is Starlet. I'm missing a couple, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this blend brush that I used earlier, put it in Georgia, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of shimmer right above my cheekbone, okay? You can mix it right over top where your color, where your lip and cheek is, okay? And what's even better is you can use that small end, come right in here and use it as like a shadow. So let me just zoom in right here. See the pigment of that color? It's absolutely stunning. I like to go down just a little bit into that corner. You just wanna keep light colors around the eyes. Okay, it's gonna make everything open. All right, all right, let's see here. Before I get started, I am going to add just a little bit of eyeliner. I'm so bad at eyeliner when I'm on my phone. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, I think that's good enough. <laughs> Luckily this pen that I bought is super easy to use. Also it's not too bad, not too bad. So I like to darken the inner eye, just a little bit right there. Good morning everybody. Uh, let's watch me struggle, put this on live. And quickly, cause I don't wanna bore you guys. Okay, I think we've got a good base. Probably not perfect, but that's okay. We don't need to be perfect, right? Just need to try. <laughs> okay, so let's look at some gorgeous colors. So this, before I get started, does anybody have any colors that they would like to see? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Okay, let me pull out my eyeshadow colors. That's my lip and cheeks. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
Let's see what we've got here. Oh, let's do, I love a pink and a basic brown look. So here we go. I'm going to do, uh, this is on Wednesdays. So it is a pink. I'm just gonna go on the lid, okay? I'm not worried about going too crazy because I'm going to, I can clean it up. And then I'm going to use, let's see, I think it's cocoa. I love cocoa. Or is this Philly? I think I'm gonna do Philly. Okay, I'm just gonna do Philly in the crease here. I love mixing pinks and browns. Okay, don't worry. I know it looks like a drag queen right now. I'm going to blend that out, okay? I have what they call hooded eyes. So hooded eyes, you need to go a little bit um, higher. If you have those eyes with those where you can see your lids naturally. Oh my God, your eyes are meant. Your eyes are meant for eyeshadow. <laughs> and I'm completely jealous of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the eyeshadow. It used to be called an eyeshadow everything brush, but now it's just the, every, or now it's just the eyeshadow brush. Okay. And you don't need a lot of colors on your eyes to make a pretty look. That is a big misconception. You don't need a lot of colors. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, Vanessa, your eyes look crazy right now. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it up, okay? Because I can take this like blackish brown under here, creates like an eyeliner and it's a shadow which is kind of crazy that that shadow can just go in under there and do what an eyeliner would do. And guess what? It doesn't make you look old, okay? Because harsh lines under your eyes make you look older, okay? We want to avoid that, right? Okay, and if you went a little crazy, you can take your highlight, okay, and you and fix it all up. That's what's great about creams. Until you set them, you can move them around and fix your makeup if you made a boo-boo instead of taking that makeup wipe and ruining everything you've done. Oh, hey, Bubba. Bubba is here to say hello. All right, so see how I clean that up? Everything looks nice and dandy. Oh, thank you, Harper. Thank you, Bubs. Thank you, Bubs. <laughs> oh, dogs. They love us so much. I know, Harper. I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> These dogs. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Vanilla Dust right here. Um, vanilla Dust is a great setting powder because it, um, it is very light. Okay, so I'm gonna set down here. I'm going to set right here. Okay, this is gonna help your contour pop more too, which is great. I'm going to set my oily area right here. And I'm using the powder brush. This does come in a bundle if you were interested in the brush and the powder at the same time. Okay, I'm just gonna go right here. I'm not gonna go under my eyes. Um, I want to avoid that area right now. And I'm gonna show you guys a trick of how to, oh guys, I forgot to do my brightener down my nose. Silly old me, I forgot to do it on my chin. And this little area right here. Sometimes I forget things. 
Okay. Um, so for this area, I'm going to take my perfector sponge. Okay. I'm just going to wipe it in the vanilla dust. And I'm just going to pat it in this area. Okay. I'm just going to pat, 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 pat. Because remember, we did all that work under there. Don't want to lose it. Don't want to lose it. So I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. All right. Then, uh, at this stage, is when I do the curling of the lashes and I do the mascara. Okay. So I'm not going to bore you with that process, but that is your basic makeup tutorial with Saint Makeup. I obviously talked a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to make sure that you guys get all the information that you need um, to, to help make your first purchase or to help you find different colors that you may be interested in. Um, I just want to make sure that you have everything to get started. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. You only buy what you want when you want it. And um, free shipping always doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter, doesn't just doesn't matter. And you can buy it when you want it and it's always free shipping. Um, so yeah, um, the brushes, if you have any questions about brushes, um, this is my number one, the blush brush. Um, number two, if you can get two brushes, is the detailed hack, or the, just the detailed brush. Um, and the brushes are different colors now. They used to be this color, now they're like a champagne color. Um, brush number three, uh, the blend brush, uh, which is great for getting under the eyes here. And then, um, of course, our eyeshadow brushes are absolutely amazing. Um, and the Perfector sponge is what's going to help you get off any excess makeup oh my goodness I almost forgot how did I do that I almost forgot the Bella bronzer I am so sorry guys so I like to mix my Bella bronzer with this um, illuminator right here they don't make it anymore so I'm not gonna say what it is but if you're a saint artist you know exactly what it is <laughs> it's fantastic okay um, so Bella Bronzer is going to help you blend your neck to your face. Don't forget, these come in a bundle as well. You save $10 with the blush brush and the Bella Bronzer. Um, your Bella Bronzer is going to go uh, on the top of your forehead. It's going to go on your neck. Okay, basically where the sun is going to shine. And just you can just dab a little bit on the top of your cheeks. You don't need to go crazy. But just add some warmth to your skin and you're good to go. So glad I did not completely forget that step. All right, ladies. Well, sorry to take up so much of your time this morning, but I hope you guys have a great Saturday and um, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.